Gurkha, World War II. As soon as the British declared war on Germany in 1939, they immediately started mobilizing troops from the Commonwealth. Men from all over the empire joined the British forces to contribute to the fight. Among them were the Gurkhas. Before the Second World War, the Gurkhas were in service of the British Army for more than a century, fighting in all corners of the world for the British Empire. Once enemies during the Anglo-Nepalese War from 1814 to 1816, the British found a mutual respect for the fighting abilities of the Gurkhas, and large numbers volunteered for the British Army afterwards. They came from the Kingdom of Nepal, a small country in the southern slopes of the Himalayas, working as farmers and shepherds. Life in such a rough environment made them into tough soldiers, who never questioned orders and did not see retreat as an option. Their motto was, better to die than be a coward. Being among the finest soldiers in the entire empire, the British Army recruited Gurkhas whenever reliable manpower was required. Among the Gurkhas were several tribes that are considered more warrior-like than the others, but in times of war, men from other, less martial tribes were being recruited as well. During the war, nearly 250,000 Gurkhas were recruited by the British in more than 40 battalions, in addition to the eight battalions of Nepalese army that also entered the war on the side of the Allies. Being a part of the British Indian Army in the first years of the war, the Gurkhas were deployed to the British Middle East territories such as Iraq and Syria, and to Northern Africa, where they fought against the Axis forces. It was after December 9th when the United Kingdom declared war on Japan that the Indian Army and Gurkhas were engaged on a higher scale, primarily to protect Malaya from the Japanese forces. They would go on to fight in Italy, Greece, Singapore, India, and Burma. Even though the Gurkhas had a special reputation in the British Army, they were not organized as a separate formation. Battalions of Gurkha regiments were deployed to regular units of the army. Being a part of the Indian Army, which was under British command, Gurkhas wore the typical dress, the M37 khaki drill uniform with Bombay bloomers, long leg trousers that could be buttoned up to become shorts. They also carried the standard 1937 pattern web equipment. By the end of the war, this uniform was replaced with a more practical olive green battle dress for jungle warfare. Gurkha soldiers that were deployed to Africa and later engaged in Italy wore the distinctive British uniform for these campaigns. What was distinctive for the Gurkha uniform was their slouch hat, the trademark of the Gurkhas since the beginning of the 20th century. When not wearing the standard steel helmet, Gurkhas wore their Tarai hats, which were actually made of two hats sewn together to make them more rigid. Hats were wrapped with a light puggery and were worn tilted to the right side. Being incorporated in army units, Gurkhas were equipped with standard British weapons such as the Lee Enfield No. 4 rifle and Bren light machine gun, and American weapons such as the Thompson M1928 and M1A1 submachine guns. However, each Gurkha carried a close combat weapon of his own, a weapon that was distinctive to his Himalayan nation. More famous than their Tarai hats were their Kukri knives. Kukris were the Gurkhas' favorite close combat weapon and were carried in almost every assault. On numerous occasions, Gurkhas attacked the enemy with a rifle in one hand and a kukri in the other. Kukris were designed to be cutting knives, their length varying from 16 to 18 inches. They are distinctive for their forward curving blade, which is sharp only on the lower concave side. A legend goes that the shape of the blade resembles the shape of Nepal. Gurkhas were very skillful with their kukris and were known to have inflicted severe damage in close combat on the enemy by using only these knives. Because of this, Kukris gained an almost mythical status, with many stories told about them. One of the most famous Kukri legends was that a Gurkha has to spill blood every time he took out his Kukri from its scabbard. Therefore, if a Gurkha took out his Kukri just to show it to someone, he would have had to cut at least his thumb in order to respect the tradition. The Gurkhas proved to be fearless and ruthless warriors in combat. They never questioned orders and always fought vigorously no matter how strong the opponent or how important the battle. Their attack was always followed by the battle cry, Io Gorkali, meaning the Gurkhas are upon you. Twelve Gurkhas were awarded the Victoria Cross for gallantry against the enemy during the war. More than 43,000 Gurkhas lost their lives fighting alongside the British Army during World War II. Subscribe and click the notification bell for more history videos. Get your copy of Simple History World War II today.